I am pumped to announce today that Quick and Astro now have an official integration. And it's crazier than you might think. For the first time, you can use a framework in Astro without any hydration directives because Quick doesn't hydrate. Now over in your Astro projects, to add interactivity, you no longer have to choose between inline script tags, which can require a ton of glue code, like querying DOM elements, attaching event listeners, manually updating the DOM states, and styling. Blah. This is the type of JavaScript I don't like to write. But I also don't want to use the alternative and use a heavy framework. Sure, instead I could use a React, Svelte, or Vue component, but that still requires downloading their entire runtime, hydrating them either on page load, on visible, on click. But the reason I'm using Astro is because I want fast, pure HTML. This is where Quick comes in. I can write my counter in Quick using a very React style, with hooks and state and signals, using the declarative style of modern frameworks that I like, which is much more simple and maintainable than the imperative style of inline script tags. Then I simply import the Quick component, and notice here I don't use any hydration directives because Quick doesn't hydrate. Because Quick doesn't use islands, you don't get the drawbacks of islands. In any island architecture, whether in Astro or React Server components, you still have the issue that those islands are hydrating. They're downloading more code than you need, sooner than you need, in almost every case. But Quick uses a different approach. It has the HTML-first delivery of Astro, and it uses a compiler to extract the interactive pieces. So Quick essentially lets you write code like React, but it compiles down to effectively inline scripts like you would have had to write with Astro. But now you don't. The Quick compiler writes the inline scripts. You get the best possible developer experience with React-like components and Astro-like loading. And now my beautiful Astro site is lightning fast as ever, beautifully interactive, and so easy to write and maintain from the start of my project all the way through infinite scale. Because unlike islands that tend to grow and grow and grow, causing heavier and heavier hydration and performance problems over time. Using Quick for interactivity keeps your code easy to maintain and consistently fast no matter how large and complex the code gets. To get started, all you need is an Astro project. I'll just create one right now. I like to use all the default options. Cool, cool, cool. Now we need to run npx astro add quick dev slash astro. This will install and run the necessary dependencies. It'll update our Astro config and we're done. If you use TypeScript like me, in our TS config, we need to add two things. Set the JSX to ReactJSX and set JSX import source to builder.io slash quick and save. Now we can create a new TSX file, for instance, counter.tsx. I'm going to then export const counter equals component dollar. I'm going to return a button that plays the latest counts. I'm going to create a signal to store the count state and I'll use the count.value variable here. I'm going to add a click listener so that on click we increment the value and save. Now, if you're not familiar with quick, you might notice that there's a dollar sign here and here. What those are is markers for the compiler. These are the areas that quick is going to pull this code out to be a tiny inline script. So when I click counts, only thing that's going to run is this and a DOM mutation to update this text node. I didn't have to write any imperative code, but it'll run like I did. Now in my Astro page, I'm going to import my counter component. And look at that, I've got my stunning interactive count components with no frameworks downloaded to build rich interactive components and applications without any performance costs, just like you wrote simple HTML and tiny fragments of inline JS. You can learn more about this awesome new integration in our latest blog post on the builder.io blog.